ever thought about setting up your own music studio? Imagine having a space where you can freely express your creativity, a place where you are the master of your own soundscape. A personal music studio is not just a room full of equipment, it's a sanctuary for your musical ideas to flourish. It offers you complete control over your work, from the first chord struck to the final mix down. Whether you're an aspiring artist looking to record your first demo, a seasoned producer craving for more creative freedom, or perhaps someone who simply loves the idea of making music in the comfort of their own space, setting up a music studio can be a thrilling endeavor. It's a chance to tailor your environment to your unique sound and to take your musical journey to the next level. If this sounds like you, then this video will guide you through the steps to create your own music studio. First things first, let's talk about budget and goals. When setting up a well-equipped music studio, it's crucial to understand the importance of defining your budget and clear goals. This is not just about the amount of money you're willing to spend, but also about what you aim to achieve with your studio. Think about the type of music you will be producing. This will greatly influence the kind of equipment you need. For instance, if you're going to specialize in vocal recording, investing in a high-quality microphone and good acoustic treatments should be a priority. On the other hand, if you're leaning towards electronic music production, your focus might be more on synthesizers, MIDI controllers, and music production software. Your goals are equally important. Are you setting up a professional studio for commercial use, or is it a personal studio for your own music production? The answer to this question will not only determine the quality and quantity of equipment you need, but also the overall budget. Establishing a clear budget is a vital step in this process. It's not just about how much money you can put into this project right now, but also about planning for future expenses. Remember, quality equipment might require a bigger initial investment, but it's likely to last longer and perform better. So, it's often worth saving a bit more to invest in equipment that will stand the test of time. Always keep in mind that a well-equipped music studio is not built overnight. It's a process that requires careful planning, a bit of patience, and a solid understanding of your specific needs. It's about making smart choices that align with your budget and your goals. So, take the time to carefully evaluate your needs and set clear, realistic goals. Ask yourself what kind of music you want to produce, what equipment you need to achieve this, and how much you're willing and able to spend. Once you have a clear idea of your budget and goals, you can start to compile a list of necessary equipment. So, what type of music will you be producing? That's the question you need to ask yourself as you start planning your music studio. The type of music you want to create will greatly influence the equipment you'll need. Let's explore a few examples. If you're looking to produce vocal heavy music, such as pop or R&B, your focus should be on acquiring a high-quality microphone and investing in sound treatments to improve acoustic quality. You want your vocals to be as clear and as crisp as possible, so don't skimp on this. On the other hand, if you're into electronic music production, your studio will look a little different. Sure, you might still need a microphone for certain elements, but your main focus should be on synthesizers, MIDI controllers, and music production software. These tools will allow you to create those unique electronic sounds that define your genre. But what if you're into a bit of everything? Well, that's where it gets a bit tricky. You'll need a variety of equipment to cover all your bases. A good microphone for vocals, a variety of instruments for live recording, and a wide range of software and hardware for mixing and mastering. It might be a larger initial investment, but it'll provide you with the versatility you need. Remember, your music studio is an extension of you and your creativity. It should be equipped to handle whatever musical journey you decide to embark on. Whether that's exploring the depths of electronic music or capturing the raw emotion of a soulful vocal performance. So before you start buying equipment, take some time to really think about what type of music you'll be producing. What sounds do you want to capture? What emotions do you want to evoke? Your answers to these questions will help guide your decisions as you start building your studio. Understanding your musical needs will guide you in selecting the right equipment for your studio. Now that you have a clear idea of your needs, it's time to create an equipment list. Our first stop in this journey is microphones. Whether you're recording vocals or instruments, microphones are a must-have. There are different types of microphones, dynamic, condenser, and ribbon, each with its unique sound characteristics. Depending on your specific needs, you may require one or all of these. Next up is the audio interface. This crucial piece of equipment is the bridge between your microphone and computer. It converts the analog signal from your microphone into a digital signal that your computer can understand. When choosing an audio interface, consider the number of inputs and outputs you need. 
the quality of the preamps, and the compatibility with your computer. Then, we have studio speakers, also known as studio monitors. These are not your average home speakers. Studio monitors provide an accurate, uncolored representation of your sound, which is critical for mixing and mastering. Moving on, music production software or digital audio workstation, DAW, is the heart of your home studio. This is where you record, edit, mix, and master your tracks. There are several great DAWs out there, so choose one that fits your workflow and budget. Acoustic treatments are often overlooked, but they can significantly improve the sound quality of your recordings. These include bass traps, diffusers, and absorption panels. These treatments improve the acoustics of your room by controlling reflections and reducing echo. Lastly, the instruments. If you're a musician, you probably already have your instrument of choice. But if you're a producer or a beat maker, you might need MIDI controllers, synthesizers, or drum machines. Remember, this list is a starting point. Your specific needs might require additional equipment. The key is to understand what each piece does and how it contributes to your overall sound. With a comprehensive equipment list, you're one step closer to setting up your music studio. Budgeting is a crucial part of setting up your music studio. It's not just about the money you have on hand or the dream gear you've been eyeing. It's about striking a balance between what you need and what you can afford. It's about making strategic decisions that will serve you well in the long run. So, how do you set a realistic budget? Well, it begins with understanding the cost of the equipment you need. Remember that list of necessary equipment we talked about in the previous scene? That's your starting point. Research the prices of each item on your list. And don't forget to factor in additional costs like software updates, maintenance, and potential repairs. Now it's time to look at your finances. How much can you comfortably spend without eating into your savings or racking up credit card debt? Be honest with yourself. It's better to start small and gradually upgrade than to overspend and regret it later. As you're doing this, keep in mind that quality often comes at a cost. It might be tempting to go for the cheapest options, but cheaper isn't always better. Sometimes it's worth saving a bit more for better quality equipment that will last longer. After all, you wouldn't want to compromise the quality of your music, would you? Of course, there are ways to make your budget stretch further. Look out for sales and discounts. Consider buying used equipment in good condition. You can also opt for multi-purpose gear that can serve more than one function, saving you the cost of buying multiple items. One final tip, always leave some room in your budget for unexpected expenses. You never know when you might need a quick repair or replacement. Setting a realistic budget might seem daunting, but it's an essential part of building a successful music studio. It's about more than just numbers. It's about making wise investments that will drive your music career forward. Remember, a well-planned budget will help you make the most out of your music studio. And so, you're ready to set up your music studio. We've journeyed through the essential steps of this exciting process together. We started off by defining your budget and goals, as these will guide your decisions moving forward. Next, we delved into evaluating your specific needs, considering the type of music you'll be producing. This led us to create a comprehensive equipment list tailored to your unique requirements. Essential items like microphones, audio interfaces, studio speakers, music production software, acoustic treatments, and instruments were all part of this list. Finally, we discussed the importance of setting a realistic budget, balancing quality and durability of equipment with your financial capabilities. Now, you're equipped with the knowledge to make informed decisions when setting up your music studio. This is just the beginning of your journey. With these steps, you're well on your way to setting up a music studio that suits your needs. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep making music.